Hi friends! Welcome to Kitchen Princess Bamboo Japanese Everyday Food. Today I'm going to show you how to cook perfect rice in a rice cooker, a pot, and a pressure cooker. Rice is a staple Japanese food we eat every day. When I say rice, it always means Japanese short grain rice. Cooking perfect rice is number one priority in Japanese kitchen. Sometimes too wet, sometimes too firm, even if you cook every day. And some people like al dente, some people like soft. Everybody has own taste. We usually eat white rice because it's delicious and digestible, just like white bread. On the other hand, brown rice is not quite easy to digest, like multi grain whole wheat bread. But actually, it is nutritious and keeps you long. Let me walk you through step by step how to cook perfect rice. Here are the useful metrics to cook Japanese short grain rice. Let's get started. Choose freshly polished rice from the mill. You can check the date on the package. First, let's cook rice in the rice cooker. Put in a rice rinsing bowl or medium sized bowl. Pour cold water and swish your hand quickly and pour out cloudy water immediately as much as you can. The rice is really dry at this point, tend to soak up the cloudy water, which makes rice taste not good. Some people pointed out in my other rice cooking video saying, you are rinsing out the nutrition, but it's not correct. The nutrition are already gone when it polished. I'm rinsing out the excess starch that makes the rice sticky and smelly. Do not confuse with this, okay? Swish your hand and scrub the rice gently. Pour in the water and rinse out the cloudy water. Repeat the process once again and drain. Keep the water to water your trees or pre boiling the daikon radish. Transfer to the rice cooker bowl. Add water to 3 cups line. As I said, we like al dente rice. I add it to just below the line. If you like normal rice, Add to the 3 cups line. If you like the soft texture, add water to a little bit over the line. My rice cooker has several courses to create the texture you like. Today I choose mochiri, which means bouncy texture. The course takes 46 minutes. I don't really know the difference between the courses. Choose whatever courses you like. The rice is done and let's see. Our kitchen smells full of rice. Rice is shy and fully cooked. As always, fluff the rice with a rice paddle and uh, keep the first bite as an offer to the ancestors. Then serve to our family. There you have white rice cooked in a rice cooker. Next, cook in a pot. Rinse your rice as we did earlier. Add multi grain if you have. You can add any grain if you have on your hand, like quinoa, white rice, etc. Pour water and start cooking on medium without a lid, and bring it to a boil. Start to even the rice and water. Reduce the heat to very low and simmer 10 minutes with the lid. You don't want to open the lid, otherwise your rice is gonna undercooked. After exactly 10 minutes, Turn off the heat and let it stand for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, the multi-grain rice should look like this. There you have a healthier version of white rice. Nutty and rich in flavor rice is them. I serve multi-grain rice if I think balance of the food is not good enough. Next, brown rice. Brown rice takes the longest cook time as you can imagine. Brown rice is basically rice with the brown and germs. It has much more vitamins and minerals to give you health benefit. In these days, we don't eat brown rice as much as white rice. Because it eaten as whole grain, it has to be organic and it's not easy to find the reliable producers. And it takes more time to cook but less delicious if you don't cook it properly. I cooked in a pressure cooker, which makes wonderful texture. Rinse quickly as we did for the white rice. Then scrub vigorously with your hand. The brown is tough, so we must scratch the surface to cook evenly. 
with under running cold water until the water runs green. Transfer to a pressure cooker. And pour water and a pinch of salt. Start cooking on the medium heat. After 10 minutes, it should start boiling and the uh, weight begins to whistling. Reduce the heat to low and cook 25 to 30 minutes. Let it stand until the pressure is released. Serve with vegan food like tofu and vegetable dish like the previous video. It is the best way to enjoy the earthy flavor. My pressure cooker is designed for brown rice, but you can use any pressure cooker. Read your instructions and use properly. Here is an extended version of brown rice. Put your cooked brown rice into a rice cooker and keep warm for 3 days. Or you can cook the brown rice in a rice cooker and just leave it for 3 days. Yes, you heard me right. 3 days. Fluff once or twice a day to give it a fresh oxygen. What I'm making is a uh, fermented brown rice. Fermented brown rice contains GABA, G -A -B -A, which is a kind of amino acid and it makes your brain relaxed and activates your body enzymes and detox your colon. And it's also suitable for those who have weak digestion. Here's my quick lunch. Sprinkle nori on fermented brown rice and pour over natto, sesame seed and chopped scallion for the finishing touch. Earthy and nutty and slimy and savory and nutritious. Everything is in this one bowl. I eat this rice bowl every once in a while to clean the colon. Good for your health and still it's delicious. I feel so much better after eating fermented brown rice. I think you have uh, feelings that 3 days of fermentation is too long, or is it really taste good? To figure it out, you should try it by yourself. Give it a try and let me know how you like it. Thank you for watching the video. Give me a thumbs up and share my video with your friends and families. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Tap the bell icon to be the first to know my new video is updated. Go to my store on Amazon to find what I am using in my video. Follow me on my social media and tag me on your post so that I can see. You can download the PDF recipe from my website, so go and check that out. All the link is in the description box below. Thanks again and I will see you soon. Bye!